Hello there, Madra Hill. We are back. It is some boy for Carla Spain. We've won the Civil War. We've got our kingdom. We're now back in gear, guys. We're going to now stamp out the Marquis. The remnants of our enemies have continuously fought a guerrilla war, attempt to contest or control the Spanish mainland. Over time, their influence has waned, and now the time is ripe to root them out once and for all. We shall return our cause, giving us back our factories, our manpower, and everything else as well. Um, I'm a big fan of this, and we're going to work on getting some Civ factories together. And it looks like my gear is catching up. This is great. Um, I definitely am going to want to try and get at least one more support equipment. And then from there, I think we should start trying to work on some, some fighters. I mean, even just a few fighters is a good idea. We're also going to want to try and get some AA. Best we are able. As we will need to give support AA to our infantry. Because we're never going to be able to have enough fighters to take like Germany or something. But we do have the opportunity to you know, figure things out. Knowingly, we have lost a lot of our state. But it is actually going down. Base value, 35%. 10%, 20, 27 20% resistance target, resistance strength. So the resistance target is now 20% because there's a base value of 35. I'm at peace, which makes it 25. My stability is like a little bit annoying. Um, you know, over Wait, what is civilian oversight? What exactly does that mean? I actually don't know what that means. Um, where's that coming from? Oh, it's from the actual modifier itself because that's what we're trying to focus on, isn't it? Right, that's pretty cool. Uh, so looks good, looks good. Right. Oh, we're actually surviving here. Okay. Now we just have to wait. That's what we have to do, we just have to wait and be patient. Uh, I want to look at this. Look. What are the different things? Because I know, obviously... Civilian oversight does reduce that. Okay, so it does this lowers compliance gain. This is the problem. Local police force does lower the compliance gain. And I am really desperately trying to get compliance as high as possible. Um I yeah, I need to wait quite a long time for compliance. And that is fantastic. So that's close air support right there. Level occupation, I suggest. You suggest going local police force, you think? Isn't that going to cause problems with regards to. I mean, everything? Don't I rather desperately want. This. Oh, I need to decide. Do I want integrated support or dispersed support? Obviously, dispersed support makes line artillery possible. Soft attack. Whereas integrated support is just really useful for increasing um, support companies for everybody. Um, I think I. I think I would rather try and pivot towards some tanks. But I do have more artillery. So maybe we should be trying to go for line artillery. You know what I mean? And actually making artillery useful. Oh, I don't know anymore. It's been changed so many times. I'm actually Googling this right now. I'm trying to decide. Oh. Uh. I know it did get, I know support artillery did get buffed. I, I know it did get buffed. Urgh. Don't you love when it hits 30 plus 3 centers? I do not love that. No, that's, that's, that sucks. This is just worse when low compliance and the compliance difference is negligible. Okay, that's great. I actually don't know which one I prefer here because... Obviously, this helps out all divisions, whereas this would only help out divisions of which I put in a ton of artillery. And I am making a lot of artillery, because, I mean, I do have a lot of tungsten, or at least I would if I had the ability to actually access a good deal of it. I can never decide this. It frustrates me to no end. I just, I guess, am I really going to be putting two artillery in my divisions? I could. You know, I could. But this just makes things so much better. Let's stick to let's stick to integrated support because I would like to try and pivot to tanks if possible. Let's let's stick to integrated. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. 
Business is worse with low compliance. Yeah, I never really got the uh, compliance together. Do you think local police force, because it makes for... Well, currently my, my compliance 025. What is this compliance gain? Oh, so that's fine. I have 069, so that's all right. I mean, yeah, I can do even up to secret police. The local police force. Very cool. Makes resistance target even more. Let's change the, uh... God. Christ. Oh. What do I do? Did I make that work? Yeah, there we go. Christ, I, I messed things up there, didn't I? That changes it to local police force, which I think is going to make things a lot better for us. Yeah, there you go. Computing machine. Oh my god, they declared war on Czechoslovakia. And France is now fighting them. Jesus. Okay. We're a naval. Um, what the heck, dude? That is kind of less than ideal. What am I building this up today? I've been building a great war tank this entire time. Are you joking? I didn't even... I did not even realize I was building this. Oh god, early war. This is actually the war that came too early thing, isn't it? Jesus. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna be able to stamp out the Maquis, make things work out really well for us. Come on, baby. So that's kind of bad. This is just gonna make things really weird. Because now they're fighting Czechoslovakia, France, and Romania. So that actually could be kind of bad. At least they won't be able to attack me, I don't think. Let's stamp out the Maquis. Let's take a look at that decision. Oh. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. What? Unlocks recovering from civil war decisions, but I didn't get it, so... Alright. Um, let's get encourage local industrialization, in, and that will be in time for 1939 as well. Which will help out a lot. Maybe buy German tanks to focus research on other things. That is not a terrible idea at all, yeah. That's actually a really good point. That's actually super good. Um, what am I... I'm not behind on that. Yeah, let's go. I'll just buy German tanks instead. Try and focus on artillery. Alright, there we go. Okay. Okay, so now I do need compliance. You bugger. That's why I shouldn't have changed it. Because I have to have compliance more than 35%. And it cost me 2,000 infantry equipment. Oh my god. Through this. Oh no. Right, so we just want to have the, most, the best compliance possible then. Yeah. Let's go. Don't have a biscuit. So we're going to have to wait for that. Oh, it takes a long time. Okay. Oh, that sucks so bad. That is actively unpleasant. I hate this. All right, we should start focusing on some ships too. Okay, luckily we've actually got a lot of ship tech. Um, and I might try and get fleet in being to build some cool battleships. I do actually have a few ships. Like, in terms of what I actually have, I do actually have two battleships. A lot of cruisers. Actually not that great. And so for Doctrine, I might... Maybe it would be better to go Trade Interdiction then. Because we do get a lot of cruisers. A lot of cruiser bonus. 
Yeah, light and heavy cruiser, battle cruiser. I mean, it is awesome to be able to get fleet in being. But when you only have two, it's a little problematic. Are there any convoy escort benefits here? What a submarine rating. Hey, what's up? Yeah, thank you very much again for those bits, guys. I appreciate that. Rebuild the Spanish Armada. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm actually kind of tempted to just go down battleships, right? And just focus on them. I'm actually super tempted. An escort efficiency with destroyers is really nice. I'm going to go down here, fleet of being. Screw it. All right, so I have to save up political power. Compliance effects. Compliance growth is base control. High compliance. The only way is the only way to improve more compliance to just wait. Oh my god. Is that the only way? I think I think it actually is. It's just time, isn't it? And have as high stability as possible. I'm literally looking at Reddit threads right now. Look and Compliance using spies. Ah, uh, man. <laughs> you can't. Don't tell me this. Compliance gain. Bring collaborative government. I can have local police force, but. Nope. There is no way to increase compliance gain. Like, no appropriate way anyway. Button. I keep hitting the airbase. I'm a dumb dumb. Oh my god. Yeah, we're just gonna have to go civilian oversight. Okay. Through me, then. What's the state with the highest... Literally just going to have to sit here, aren't I? That is freaking terrible. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, are there any bonuses we can get here? Stability daily support. Oh my god, yes. Wireless intellectual political power improvement relations and deadly compliance gain. <gasps> yes. Okay. Nice. That helps. 0.117. Alright, that's obviously absolutely mandatory. Jesus Christ. Right, so it's 0.1%. Got luck. 0.1%. 10 days would be... So 100 days, I'm going to get 10%. So about 150 days before I can start doing that. That is absolutely fine. So I did not need to rush that at all. What a waste. Let's go down Dios Patrios Rey. At least it lowers resistance target, which is really what I care about here. Lower in that resistance target. Low stability. Come on, dude. Put your points civilian oversight compliance. Yeah, more compliance just makes things better. All right. I'm just going to have to just kind of barrel through this then. I am building a lot of, like, stuff. I actually don't think I need all this gear. So we are going to just see if we can ask... To have their tanks. Let's get some Panzer twos. I do have to pay a factory for that, which is a problem, but I could then buy some lovely Panzer twos. Doesn't love Panzer twos. But if I wait a month, I can get some Panzer threes. I'll wait until I can get Panzer threes. Yeah. I mean, Germany is doing some stuff right now. Oh man. Oh, maybe we can grab Portugal for ourselves. I mean, if I was able to go down that line, I can get... Claim the French throne as well, so that's that's possible. That would be interesting. That doesn't look like anyone's going to be a problem for us. So I am going to just try and focus on, like, a couple more divisions. 
might as well try and have a couple. Don't need many. And I am going to make up the rest of the equipment that I need over time, so just sit quietly then. We are completely out of aluminium and rubber. Sucks, but that's okay. Okay, here we go. Up, up, up. Constant Gaming has just subscribed. I just got this, apparently. Well, thank you so much for choosing to resub, my friend. Really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. I just got this, apparently. Oh, that was a weird voice. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Uh, Dios Patria Re, Re. The rallying cry of Carlist echoes throughout history and exemplifies the beliefs we hold to be true. A reminder that we all play but a small part in the defense of Catholicism in our local communities and Spanish nation as a whole. Life stability. Consumer goods. Construction speed. Ah, uh, yeah. Really good. That's going to help fix this country a little bit. And if only a tiny bit, and then we can start working on more factories. All right. Don't need any more than just one artillery. More of these would be great. We are going to need to think about getting infantry equipment, though. Rating that. Italian diplomatic isolation. Take a turn for the worse. Ooh. Wow, okay. They've just been plotting. They've put away. And France is actually somewhat winning this war. Destroy the counter-revolution. Oh my god, they're going to have a civil war. Holy shit. What? They're going to have a civil war? Oh my god, this country's going to explode. And whatever. <laughs> Uh, I can have daily I can political power gain, daily support for the non-aligned, which I could get to 100%. Or just... Oh, yeah, even better. Stability or daily support for non-aligned? Uh, I mean, stability is spicy, bro. That's going to actually just give me even more stability over time. Look at that. Consumer goods. Factory output. Oh, yeah. Lowering resistance target even more. S. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Ooh, I have now realized that I needed to save up quite a lot of political power, didn't I? Okay, that's a bit annoying. That's okay. Gonna build more divisions, get more men together, save more political power. Fortunately, there is not any way to get more political power, but that's okay, that's okay. The Bernard Fontenbert. Now, there's no difference between the infantry equipment, is there? 2894, 1.5. 2894, 1.5. Oh, they actually only got the car. Alright, let's just research our own. We need the tech anyway, so. Looks we've had to be slowed down a little bit, but that's okay. So I guess now we should start saving up our political power, as much as we are able. But getting towards 100 stability, dude, that's nice. That's real nice. They formalized the anti-Soviet pact, and the Bulgaria has approached. Czechoslovakia is falling. What the hell is... Jesus. What the hell was that? It was like a demonic ice cream truck noise in the background. Oh my god, that was horrifying. That was really quite truly horrifying. I, I hated that. <laughs> I hated that. Um, let's get factory growth, and then we can do some construction bonus. Next factories in state, production efficiency base. Uh, and 10% more factory output. Let's go. I want it. Give me that 35%. Oh my god, we're so close. Gonna, my wife and I can transfer my family since the last time I'm a Twitch login. Oh, that's pretty cool. Congratulations, buddy. Takes a lot of, uh, a lot of guts. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Oh, well, we're doing... Okay. I'm going to just kind of barrel forward at max speed. It's a little frustrating. I also need to make sure I have enough infantry equipment prepared. There we go. Okay. So we could go to expand the Rikite and just get recruitable pop. This is only benefits... Local power gain is actually pretty good. Cultivate fanaticism. So that's just really good for fighting. I don't really want that just yet. 
Okay, that's okay. All right. We can't do that because we don't have enough factories, but we can go restore the empire. Let's go down this route. Our empire awaits. We need to establish the military industry needed to see. Let's go. You're obviously going to need a lot of infantry equipment. See? Okay. Building actually a lot. And our stability is just going up day by day. There's a population so high, but it is still going up. 300 days, I'm going to get 1% more, which is awesome. And there... Oh my god. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so, there is indeed the Civil War, but it's literally just that. And it's led by Pitane. Okay. Oh, fuck. That's the Anglo-German Alliance. That's really bad. In the next episode, we'll take a look at this. I was Algernon continue to be. This is awful for me. Bye.